Hey, this is the unboxing of. But first, let me turn down the fan. And today is cooler, only 89 degrees cloudy. Gee, if it wasn't for the clouds, it would be so much hotter. But it's muggy. Okay, now what was I saying? Unboxing. That's right. Unboxing of gravity boots. Do you know what gravity boots are? They're not used in space, but they're used here on planet Earth. Look at this. Gravity boots. the other side but I'm sure you want to hear the story about this box right well the box let's see I guess the stuff inside expires on March 20th 2019 I guess there are 10 packs in here I'm not exactly sure but each pack is 180 grams I guess it feeds four people I'm not sure. Uh, it is uh, rice grown in Japan. It's national. Taki tate gohan. Yes, it's rice. But it's probably not the type of rice that you and I are accustomed to. It's probably packaged. And you either nuke it or you or you uh, boil it in the pack uh, Fukura Tsuya Yaki I have no idea what that means if I'm reading it right I'm, I'm just assuming that the the kanji the Chinese character kanji is Yaki so Fukura Tsuya Yaki Takitate Gohan I believe What's that? Table mark? Is that what it says? No, table mac. What is this table mac? Okay, so what else is there on here? Fukura, Fukura, Fukura. I guess there's nothing much to the box. Same on the other side upside down just a box code it probably says recyclable what's it say it says Dumboru Harisai oh Dumboru wa recycle cardboard boxes can be recycled or are recycled or what it says that's the mark okay so much for the box that has nothing to do with the boots now let's bring back the boots all right the boots these boots are made for walking. That's what. That's just what they'll do. One of these days, these boots will, what, walk all over you. Something like that. That was a Nancy Sinatra. Do you remember Frank Sinatra? He's a. He was a singer, crooner, New Yorker, in movies. And he had a daughter, Nancy Sinatra, and she came out in the '60s and. I don't know if this was her first song or first hit, but she made uh, a hit with These Boots Are Made For Walking. So look it up on YouTube, These Boots Are Made For Walking. So what do these boots do? Well, you actually wear them around your ankle and you hang upside down. Yeah, and it, it really helps the back and blood circulation. And, uh, I don't recommend you doing this without a doctor's approval. Um, and it is very difficult to get up there without help. Uh, uh, you'll see in a future episode. But anyways, this is the lock. 
Isn't this a nice lock? You don't need any type of key. But if you lose this, oh boy, it doesn't work very well. Okay, over here. Yeah, that's all it is. So then you put it around your ankle. And of course, I used to do this without without uh, shoes and socks, but I recommend that you do use socks and shoes. So then this is your foot, and then you climb up onto a pole, you hang upside down, and you just let the blood rush to your head. So the reason why I got these boots was at first, you know, I got an inversion table. And, well, of course, the inversion table is in Japan. And when I was in New York, there's not much space there. So I thought, well, you know, I have a, a chin-up bar. And I thought, well, maybe I could use a chin-up bar and then hang upside down. So that's why I bought this. But, you know, I, I didn't... Uh, attach it to the wall so I fell down I hit my head how stupid I was so stupid oh yeah it's not yeah it's, it's sturdy you know it's not gonna move the bar's not gonna move so it's the bar that came off of the well the the whatever's around the door and the door what's it called it's around the door. Well, anyways, so that's attached to that. And I guess I moved a little too much and I went, bam. So after that, I went, okay, I'm not going to take a chance. I almost died. I almost hit my head. I thought I, I thought I broke every bone in my back and I was afraid to move. Uh, so then I went, okay, I'm, I'm not going to do this anymore. I am going to get an inversion table. So I, I look for a smaller inversion table that I have here in Japan. And... Um, yeah, I, I can't do as much like I would like to because I bought it for the weight and the uh, small size. But still, you know, it, it works. And uh, I have haven't been doing inversion for about two years. And when I came back home, I went, you know, I, I got to do something about this. I got to start getting back into inversion. And I got to... Uh, you know, do gravity boots since I since I had them and I brought them to Japan because I'm not going to use them in New York, that's for sure. Um, so I haven't really been doing in uh, gra using the gravity boots because it's just too hot outside. So I will do that when I come back home to Japan in the winter time around December. So until December. Uh, I won't be doing I won't be using these gravity boots but I did at the very beginning when I uh, you know started working out and doing the inversion you know doing the inversion on the inversion table and uh, on the uh, I, I used the gravity boots so there is a video that, that'll be coming up after this um, probably be the next video out um, so anyways this is my this is the gravity boots now why I got into inversion was I was actually looking for a slant board because when I was a well teenager in college uh, someone told my parents that uh, you know you need to get this slant board and so that you can have the blood rush to your head and it will relax you and make you feel better so for a long time I was using the slant board outside and you know and, and grabbing rays and becoming nice and tan in those days and uh, of course after I moved out I uh, never thought about it but and the work I was doing it was starting to take its toll and I thought you know I need to get back into this and uh, so I was looking for a slant board I couldn't believe how exp 
expensive. These slant boards were stupid. It's just a stupid board that folds and it's at a maybe a 45 degree angle and you kind of lay there on the slant board and and they wanted like two or three hundred dollars for this stupid piece of wood or maybe not even wood maybe just hard cardboard but whatever the case I refused to pay that so I was gonna make one and then I was looking around for a, a sit-up bench that was kind of longer so I did find one but I had never I never did the uh, the slanting and then I ran across uh, inversion on YouTube of course YouTube there's this uh, old doctor out of Australia that uh, I, I don't know maybe he's about 80 85 and he does a slant board and and he does gravity boots and he hangs upside down and oh it's phenomenal what he does with it and I thought well you know as I'm getting older maybe I should do it it's he said that you know as you get older the arteries and veins in your brain start to get hard so when you invert all that becomes a little bit more elastic and supposedly you're not going to be able to get you're not going to get an aneurysm or stroke or whatever in, in that respect but of course I don't know if it's really been proven or not, but yeah, it sounds good. You know, it's like a TV infomercial. It, TV infomercial. So I figured, wow, well, okay, let me let me try it. Hey, this is really cool. You can see my uh, you can see my mouth and my my chin. And didn't think about it. I was looking at outside while I was uh, talking to you guys. And so I thought, wow, well, that'd be good. Another thing is because the blood goes to your head is. Uh, you're not going to get bald or your, your hair is not going to fall out. And he, and, and he is so proud of the fact that he has a head of hair at 70 years old or so when, when, when I saw the video on YouTube. And uh, he said that in his family, all the guys are bald, except him. He's got hair because he's been doing inversion for, you know, so many millions of years, you know, that he's been doing it. And I thought, okay, that, I mean, that, that, that sounds good. I don't want to lose my hair, but I'm losing my hair. Um, not only because I don't take care of it either. I mean, you know, I, I, sh I should massage my scalp and do all the things that, that you're supposed to do. But, you know, no, it's just falling out and going, I'm just going, oh, I'm just getting old. Okay, well, that's the way it is. Well, the other thing is, um, I don't think he said it, but, you know, I was, doing my research it, it talked about the spine now there's a there's cushions between each spine bone and as we get older it shrinks and it gets hard so that's why we lose our height like uh, you know someone six feet tall will eventually become five foot two because of all that cushioning that's gone and I thought wow you know well I don't want to be you know four foot ten or four or four feet you know by the time I pass on so I figured well that's another another thing but what's oh yeah and then my posture it's helped my posture I mean when I was doing it a long time ago um, co-workers used to say hey you know you're you're standing up straighter and I went uh, really so it is helping and so you know i was pro inversion table for the longest time and it only takes a few times when you go oh yeah i don't want to do it today then the next day oh i don't want to do it then the next day oh i don't want to do it then then it becomes months later and then you go oh i got to start all over again and start with the slanted part before i can get to the full inverted because you can't do it all at once you know, you got to build up to it and then of course gravity boots you you can't just do gravity boots you got to build up to it so the inversion table helps to the point where you can um, you know get to that point so that that in itself I thought well you know I'm, I'm gonna give this a try so with the um, with the uh, uh, blood brushing to the head and of course at the very beginning you know all my friends that have tried it, that have come over, they don't like it because oh, I don't feel good. I get dizzy. Of course you're gonna get dizzy. Of course you're not gonna feel good at the beginning. 
you know it's totally different you don't you don't hang upside down you don't even slant so it's going to take a while before you get used to it i mean it let's see i did it for two weeks before i actually went totally inverted so you know and only a few minutes at a time um and the other thing about it is is, is you with the slant board you go back and forth and it's supposed to help your organs, you know, like your liver and your and your kidneys and whatever else is not attached. I suppose your heart as well. And you do it like a seesaw. Well, you'll see later on. I've got a video on that too. Up and coming episodes. So I am pro inversion table and gravity boots, but you know, a lot of us don't have enough time to build up to that. And it's more important to to jog or it's more important to uh, do the treadmill or I'd like to get a rowing machine but it's just too expensive here in in Japan I mean in the States I could get it for about three or four